In a previous lesson, I showed how to roll a cube using the geometry axis node. In this lesson, I'll show you how to roll a cube just by dragging, dragging it on the x-axis. Now right-click on the connect object and go to programming espresso. Uh, move the cube to the side and drag the connect object into the espresso editor. What I want to do is uh, move the cube a certain distance, which would be the uh, perimeter of the cube which is the one side of the cube multiplied by four. So if you select the connect, if you select the cube and go to object, you'll see that one side of the cube is 300. So multiple, uh, multiplied by four, that gives you the perimeter of the object. So if the cube moves the distance of the perimeter of the object, I want it to rotate, rotate on which uh, uh, side on the bank. So I want it to rotate 360 degrees on the bank. And to achieve that, we need to use a range mapper node. So let's search for the range mapper node. Here it is. And connect the x-axis, x-position of the cube, and hook it up to the uh, range mapper. And select the range mapper. So what I want to do is... Uh, when the cube is zero distance, I want it to ro rotate zero degrees. So, but first let's change the output range to degrees. So when, when the cube is zero distance, when it hasn't moved, I want it to not rotate, to, to be still. When, it, when the cube is like 300 by four, which is 1200, I want it to be 360 degrees. Now I'll out output the cube and select the cube again and get the rotation on the bank and just connect the two close the espresso editor and now select the connect object you'll see if you drag the cube on the x-axis it starts to roll and that's how you roll a cube using espresso